Hello, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. This is Quickmind. I'm going to start off the episode with getting another item, our last item. As you can see, we're missing one. And I'm also going to get another heart piece, too. So, I'm going to off screen this part, but basically, we're heading up to the top right corner, and we're going to have to be in the light world to do that. So really the quickest thing to do is just head back into the light world now, uh, use your <clears throat> flute, go to the warp one, and uh, I'll be right up there in just a second. Alright, so I made it up here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put the hook shot on for now. We're actually going to head off to the right first. Yeah, it's going the wrong way. i to go up a little bit and then to the right. Oops. I'll just walk over. I mean, here's where you need the hook shot. So you can get across this little gap right here. Alright, we're going to head up here. Or no, I'm sorry, down here. Here we have a little warp gate. So then we're gonna head up to the right. Pretty sure down there is where I could have come from had I gone right instead of left. Alright, we want to fall down here. some rupees and bombs. I believe those two other holes uh, would have dropped you to where you could not get the treasure chests, or at least not both of them. Alright, then we want to toss this rock away, and go down this secret passage, and here we need the grappling hook again, for the hook shot, my bad. Oh man. Now let's see. Ladder? No. Wait. No, I'm not full power either. Hmm. I don't think I can throw him that far. <laughs> let's see. Now oh, let's try one of these. really closely, you can see a path right there. But you don't want to go farther than that. You want to turn around the corner and go like that. There we go. 
go. Alright, this is kind of a little trick here. There's actually not a hole. So don't worry about bombing there, but we can bomb here and here. Here's just a fairy. And here's one more path to take. <coughs> Excuse me. And some more of these fairies. I've already captured two of their friends, so we're good. Alright, so that leads us up here. So now we use the mirror. And we can get this heart piece that's trapped over here. Alright. Head back in. And do a crazy jump. Okay. Now let's see. Not there. Go over here next. Whoa. Pardon me. Hop down here. Now here's where that gateway was in the light world, so you can just uh, get that. And then come down here if you didn't really care about that other heart piece I just got. Come in here. Yeah. That's pretty scary looking. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna equip the magic cape and make a break for it. Try not to do that. Pick that up, toss it, and there you go. Get some hearts, because we're definitely going to need them. And here you get the Cane of Burna. If you swing it once, a ring of light will protect you. Well, let's try it out. Uh, you know what, I'll go ahead and use one of these two, why not? They're cheap enough, I could buy another one later. Oh. There you go. Use a little bit less energy than the cape, but we got through without getting hurt. Alright. And we'll drop back down and basically back where we were. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and off screen, get another blue potion, and I'll meet you down at Palace 5. Alright, and I'm back, and I figured I'd go ahead and show you, uh, just kind of quickest way to get there. You just head back into the light world, you see my gates way up there, and uh, use your flute to fly down to the 8th little option down here in the corner, and I kind of cleared out this little floating head down there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I believe there's a trick here to get magic po uh, power back. Freeze these guys and smash them with the hammer. Oh, man. Okay, you don't always get potions, I guess. Yeah, I thought I read that somewhere, but I guess not. Okay, well, there's there's one. All right. Don't be mad at me. Okay, I botched that joke. Sorry, folks. Here we can try it again with these guys. Or one guy. There we go. Lift that up. And there you go. Watch out for those guys again. They'll eat your shield. And you don't have to worry about killing them, just walk into here. So, as you can see, we have an ice theme here. You have to watch out for those guys showing up every once in a while. 
Obviously, I'm not hurting them. What you gotta do is gotta shoot them with a fire rod. Alright. And ice everywhere. So you gotta watch out when you slip and slide. Switch down there, we have to hit. Watch out for those guys, though. Alright, so I'm gonna just kind of wing this uh, level. Alright, let's go ahead and use Bombos. Killer penguins, or whatever they are. already. Alright, and now we can open this door. And yeah, this is the fun room, so watch out for this as well. Yeah, I'm just kind of going overpowered right now, but it's not taking that much magic and it gets rid of them pretty easily. Alright, well, I'll just zoom on through then. And we have a dead end. So, you don't want to go that way. But now we know. And knowing's half the battle. Here, you're gonna have some more tricky use of those blue and red switches. See, obviously, now we can't go down that hole once we bomb it. One thing we can do, though, we can get through. Just lay a bomb. And there you go. You want to be careful, don't put a bomb all the way in this corner, because you might hit that switch again, so kind of toss it up in that corner instead. There you go. Hmm. Vulnerable to another weapon. Alright, I'll just tell you what it is now. It's a bomb. about trying to blow this open. I'm not even sure you can, and if you can, it doesn't do anything anyway. Here. I think I can spare a bomb. Yeah, it doesn't even open it. <clears throat> Alright, so here'd be a good place to use uh, either your, your cape or your uh, uh, the, whatever, that, that cane we just got. Cane of Inferno. Done. Bet you gotta switch that. Oh no, I don't. Right. Good job, quick mind. right way, but hey, we're going to try it out. Okay. 
There we go. Alright, now if I remember correctly, I think there's a hole you can bomb here and fall in another spot. Yeah. Nah, I can't remember if I have to, but... Okay. I eventually have to, just not yet. Because I don't have the big key. I think that other hole would have dropped you off to the left. Or, I'm sorry, to the right. And we have to skip all this stuff. That was quick. Quick! It's real slippery, it's kind of hard to uh, get yourself locked into a line. Exactly where that room heads to. Oops. I don't think we want to go in there just yet. I think that leads back to that room where I bombed a hole to the left underneath the stairs. We're gonna head up here first. room now. Uh, let's go ahead and head back this way for now. Yeah, this is kind of sneaky. Let's see if I can get that skull to reset. Yes. Haha, -ha, game. Nothing there. Thank you. 
and I guess I should have showed you before I did that. There's a way you could tell. Well, that was kind of silly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, whoops. All right, now with this statue, you see how there's like a little extra gray spot right under his lip in the middle of the tongue? It's kind of extended just a little bit more, and that's showing that you can pull it out. I'll kind of show you uh, uh, the statues that you can't pull. How they look a little different. Yeah, see that one shows the same thing too. Now we can get this treasure chest. under that skull, too. Probably one of those little golden things. Turn you into a little cute bun. If I could try a little trick here. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Alright, well, I guess you don't have to worry about hitting that from that side after all. Could have sworn you could, but. Oh well. again. Okay. Yeah, you pretty much have to leave that blue, because you can't, can't get around that. said lust again. That way we can get this uh, big treasure chest here. And it's kind of an important one because we get our new blue mail. Alright. Take a little less damage now, that's pretty good. Whoa. Okay. Now, let's see what killing this guy gets us. Uh -oh. 
So that's where um, falling down either of those holes would take you, dropping you into those little the holes, I guess. That's not good. We need something to stay there. Let's take a look over here first. Hmm. We'll look up here real quick. Here's what I was talking about uh, previously, folks. Um, this is why I went to level 6 first, or Palace 6. So you can just cheat and do that. Uh, I am planning on doing a bonus episode showing how to do that correctly, because for me at least... Oh, very nice, guys. Um, I have a heck of a time trying to figure out how to get around to drop the right block down there to do that part correctly. So I learned, you know, just go to level Palace 6 and just get that item. Alright. Now here's the example I was showing you. See how this statue, the tongue, just has like the two little gray lines in it? And this one has a third one starting? This one means you can pull on it. So yeah, that's how you can tell the difference. Oh man. guys up against the wall, but, yeah. Give me that heart. And the lady. I'm out of here. Okay. Well, all we got left is Palace 7, and the last palace after that. So I'm going to go ahead and quit for now, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.